the one, the only, Ben Seal. Good evening and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube Just Outfit. Special multi Shabbos edition of Dafyomi. We're doing Gitin Dafdalim, starting in Masechta on Thursday. Um, interesting Masechta talks about, you guessed it, Gitin. Um, it's not just a get for a woman, there's a, a get for an Evid. We'll talk about that also. But most of the Masechta predominantly talks about the get, the writing of a get and the giving a get to a woman. <clears throat> People wonder. I think the Chovas of Lvav was one of the old uh, Sifrei Musar. He has a point where he says, you know, I don't understand. The entire Masech, the 90 Dafim, talk about a get. Now, of course, unfortunately, there are marriages that dissolve and they need to get. But how often does this halacha really come up? People, there's so many questions and details about Masechah's Gitin about something which never comes up and the knowledge is only known by a couple of different people, basically Dayanim, who need to know Hilchos Gitin, who are in charge of it. He says you shouldn't waste your time thinking about the E and learning Masechus Gitin in depth. You should think more about Chovas HaLevavos, to think more about Cheshba HaNefesh, about the important things in life, making the right decisions in life. We're all faced with so many decisions in life to make. That's more important than learning Gitin the Ian. But I assume you already did that already, so <laughs> we're going to do Masechus Gitin B'Ian. I give an Ian share also, an eight-minute Ian share every day. Um, let's start from the top here. <clears throat> we're trying to figure out who the author of our mission is. The mission says that the requirement is to say, when you bring a get from Medina Hayam, from outside of Eretz Yisrael to Eretz Yisrael. So who is the author of the Mishnah? First thing where says maybe it's Rameyer, then it says maybe Rav Lezer. Really, it is Rebbe Lazar. Right? Rebbe Lazar is famous because he holds Eide Mesira Karsi. Basically, the effectiveness of the get is through, you need, you need two Eidem on a get. The Davash Erva. The main Eidem are not the ones that sign the get. It's the ones that witness, they have to witness the get being over, given over to the woman. So all that really matters is the Ksiva, the writing of the get. The Chasiva is not important. So how do we figure out, so how does it fit Rebbe Lezer? Chilo ba Rebbe Lezer chasima, when Rebbe Lezer doesn't require a chasima, it said, we explicitly said in a brace on Dab Gimel that if there's no Edom on the, on the, on the get, it's okay. Heicha deleka Edom klal. Heicha deika Edom boi. If their Edom do choose to sign, they don't need to sign according to Rebbe Lezer. If they do choose to sign, it has to be written l'shma. And that's why it says in the Mishnah, the person has to say, l'fani nechta, l'fani nechta, l'shma. <clears throat> The Amar Rabbi Abba, Moder Rabbi Lezer, Mezuyif Mitocho Shu Apostle. Rabbi Lezer, even though he says you don't need Adem, if the Adem are written in the star and they actually are Adem that are bad Adem, they're not kosher Adem, for example, they're women or they're people that are Krovim, people that <coughs> are part of the family and they can't give testimony. I'm here, I said it's Apostle. You know, it's like sort of the concept called Mosif Gore, Add on. Sometimes it's better to do less than to do more because if you do more, then there's more problematic things which can come out, come out of it. <sighs> so the Gemara says, so one answer is to say, our mission is Rabbi Lezer. Ravashi Amar, Ravashi gives a different answer. Hamani, who is the author of our mission? Rabbi Huda is Rabbi Huda. It's not Rabbi Huda. Post al Ashdek Sivas Chesmas Batalish. Rabbi Huda argues in the Mishnah we already quoted later on, where it discusses the get can't be the mechuber, can't be attached to the ground. It has to be something which is talish. Rabbi Huda argues on the Tanakamo there, and he says not only is it the, the Ksiva, uh, but also the Chasima. Sorry, not, not, sorry, not only the Chasima, but also the Ksiva. All the writing also has to be with Talish. The first opinion of the Tanakamo in that Mishnah says that if you wrote the get while it was attached to the tree, and then you cut down the tree, and then you signed it while it was detached, that would be okay. According to. According to um, According to, um, according to Rabbi Yehuda, you need also the Ksiva to be Batalish. So you see, according to Rabbi Yehuda, not like Rabbi Lezer, not like Rabbi Meir, he holds both the Ksiva and the Chasiva are integral to the Kashras of the Get. Since it's so obvious to say it's like Rabbi Yehuda, it's, it's difficult to say it's Rabbi Lezer, and difficult to say Rabbi Meir. Why would you say it like Rabbi Yehuda? He's another Tana, he's a legitimate Tana. So the Gemara says, Madrina Rabbi Meir. 
we first go after a mayor. The Samas is a mayor. An anonymous mission is usually a mayor. We like to say anonymous missions are usually a mayor. Now, Jinnah of Lazar, why do we go after Rabbi Lazar? The Kaimal and Hilkas of Kavasa be Gitin. We pass, and we're going to see throughout the Mosef. But we don't pass like a mayor. We pass like Rabbi Lazar. Eli Chasima Karsi. So we'd like to assume if the, the Mishnah should be like the Halakha, it should be like Rabbi Lazar. Once we couldn't say it's not, it's, it's probably not like Rabbi not like Rabbi Lazar, then we came to Rabbi Yehuda. <coughs> Sinan, Mishnah says, Rabbi Gamaliel Omer, Achim, maybe not Rechem, and Achagar. The Gemara can analyze the different opinions in the Mishnah in light of this Machlokas Rabba and Rabba. Gamaliel Omer, Achim, maybe not Rechem, and Achagar. He says, even if you bring from Rechem and Achagar, these are places directly right outside the boundary of Eretz Israel. Rabbi Lazar Omer, Achim, Mikfar, Ludim, Lud. Even if you bring from the village of Ludim to the city of Lud, and you have to say funny enough. Funny enough. Amar Abaye, Abaye says, "Vayaros hasmuchas deres Yisrael umuvlos betchum er Yisrael askinon." What's the difference between Rechem and Chagar and Kfar Ludim Lud? Rabbi Lezer is adding something else, right? He's talking about right, the first opinion. Leil is talking about cities which are samuch there. It's not part of Eretz Yisrael. They're next to the boundaries of Eretz Yisrael. And then Rabbi Lezer is adding something which move lows. Now, what does it mean move lows? Mean. So if you look, if you have an art scroll and you have a diagram over here, I think they have a picture over here. Where is it? On 4A2. They have a picture that apparently at some parts of the, I believe the eastern boundary, boundary of Eretz Yisrael, um, which is basically the Jordan River, you know, it goes down and it goes in to Eretz Yisrael. So these both are talking, like Kfar Ludim and Lud are in, and Rechem and Chagar are both outside of Eretz Yisrael. However, Kfar Ludim is absorbed in Eretz Yisrael. It's not inside Eretz Yisrael, but it's inside, if you see the picture, the Tchum goes like this, like that. So it's inside the semicircle over here, so it's closer to Eretz Yisrael. That's what I was adding. Even if it's Muvla, it's not in Eretz Yisrael, but it's sort of like uh, taken into the boundaries. It's absorbed. Partial Muvla means absorbed. Or absorbed partially into the boundaries. You would still need to say, Fani Nechta, Fani Nechta. And that's what I was adding. I don't think that's the shot. I have a different shot. I mean, move law usually means that it's incorporated. It's part of Eretz Israel. Not that it's outside of Eretz Israel, but it looks like it's incorporated from the outside. Now, move laws, and I'll prove to you and Ian <coughs> Ben Sion that's what the shot is, and try to figure out how that makes sense in the Gemara. That will be Ian Ben Sion. If you want to stick around for that. Talk about, I'm going to explain in light of the current situation here in Israel, you know, in West Bank is a contested area now. Um, <coughs> Because the Gemara applies to all generations, you know, so it's much easier to give examples when it comes to your generation, the way Eretz Yisrael looks now. Um, there's obviously the green line people refer, which is the what you know, basically the demarcation of the West Bank, which the international community does not consider part of Israel, even though it's formally controlled by Israel. Israeli forces control militarily the area, even though Palestine, the PA, the Palestinian Authority. Um, rules over there but technically most of the land is controlled by the israeli army we'll talk about that in any of um so the Gemara says amara brachan aladidi chazili ahu asra i saw this place meaning the distance of far ludim lalud the happy can be kubi lamudisa it was from a place in bavel could be kubi was right next to the it was very very close still if you take that short distance since you're going from, according to the article, at least out of Israel to Eretz Israel, you need to say b'fani nath, b'fani nath. And it's been called Tanakama Savar. So Tanakama argues on both Rambam Leon and Rambam Lazar. Tanakama Savar, Hani Lo. Sorry. In these cases, you bring right Eretz out of Eretz Israel to Eretz Israel, Eretz Israel. You don't need to say b'fani nath, b'fani nath. My love, the Hakamet. The Gotzma Chlok is in the Tanakama and Rambam Leon and Rambam Lazar. The Mar Savar Lefisha and Bekiyon Lishma. The Hani Gemiri. Right. One opinion holds. That the reason that you need to say is because people outside of Israel are not familiar with Shema. The Shema, the Hani Gemiri. That's the opinion of the Tanakama. And therefore, close to Eretz Israel, they're learned just like in Eretz Israel. And I'm going to say, it's Machlois Rabba and Rabba is really Machlois Tanai. We're going to leave hold like Rabba that there's no Edim and Tuyun Lakaimo. And since it's different areas, different. You know, outside of Israel and Eretz Israel is not so many people that cross over the border into Eretz Israel. So therefore, you're not going to have Adam to make the stars. So therefore, they would need to say, "Fine, Nachta, Fine, Nachta." 
Rabba, so Mara said, look, Rabba Mataras is Tamei, Rabba Mataras Tamei. The Gemara says, no, we don't want to say Machlis Amar Raim, it's really Machlis Tanoim. Both of them will say, I could hold it according to all the Tanoim. Rabba Mataras Tamei, the Chuli Amal Afisha in Bekin Lishma. Everyone agrees the reason you have to say Fani Nechem, Fani Nechem is because we want to make sure that the get was written Lishma. But how come Akim is like, then I come out of our Hani came with the Smukos Migmar Gmir. Since they're night next to Eretz Israel, these cities, so therefore, they're also learned like Eretz Yisrael. If Aser and Lila, the Meymar move los, Gmiri is smukos lo Gmir. And Lila comes and says, the ones that are absorbed in Eretz Yisrael, at least according to Archibald, it's technically outside of Eretz Yisrael, but they're, they're closer to Eretz Yisrael. Those people are learned. Smukos lo Gmiri. But however, the ones that are next to are not. If Aser and Lila, the Meymar move los, nami lo. He says even the ones that are absorbed are not learned. Shlo takla kumdina sayyam. The reason he says, even though technically maybe he would agree, and they are learned, but since they're all considered outside of Eretz Yisrael, according to the article, they're all outside of Eretz Yisrael, they're all part of Medina Sayyam, so therefore, they made a general rule, you always have to say, Fani Nechta, Fani Nechta. Rav Mataras Tamei. Rav says, no, everyone holds like my reasoning, because there's no problem with Kiyam Shtaros. That's the reason everyone agrees. But Hani came in the Smuchos Mishkach Shrichi. Since they're close to Eretz Yisrael, even though one's outside of Eretz Yisrael, one's inside of Eretz Yisrael, since the people travel, they're close to each other, so people cross over into the border of Eretz Yisrael. You won't have a problem having people to Mekayim the Shar. You don't need to say, but finding Nathan, finding Nathan. That's from Leal, the Maymar, move low, Shriki, Smuch, the Shriki. Leal says that if they're absorbed, or look like they absorbed in Eretz Yisrael, so therefore it's common to have people passing in the Eretz Yisrael. Smuchos, but if they're next to each other, but they're not even in Eretz Yisrael at all, the Asa. Also, they're, and they're not, it's not shlichi, it's not common, and therefore you have a problem. Also, Lezer 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 maybe technically agrees, but also since we can't make any distinctions between anywhere outside of Eretz Yisrael, so therefore we say that ever, in all places there's a problem of Kiyam Shtar, or if we're worried, there'll be known to be Mekayim Shtar. Tanan. The Mishnah says, it's not always easy to get a, a quiet spot. Um, give Shiro. I try my best, you know, even in the shul, I give during the week, people come in and out, people aren't the most cordial and nice, and I see someone recording, and people are getting smartphones, so they're like, cover a Torah with smartphones, it's like, you know, a rabbi who's, um, Datilo Mimar Orthodox, it's not only that, that people in the ultra-Orthodox world don't give, um, honor to people that are rabbis from Datilo Mimar Orthodox, they actually, Think they're worse than regular people because they're being mocked at the rabbim. They're <coughs> giving the wrong hashkafos, the wrong ideologies to people in Kali Israel. If you go, you know, I've heard various stories. It's sad, but I heard various stories, and people speak these stories proudly about gedolim that were asked. You know, child, it was only a modern Orthodox school in the neighborhood. He said it was better to go to public school than to go to the modern Orthodox school. Or the Datilami school because you get the wrong Hashkafa. Probably you get nothing about Judaism. Come on. Anyway, so the Gemara says, Chamo <coughs> Omrim, um, Tanan, the mission says, Chamo Omrim, Eno Sara Shion, Fani Nechta, Fani Nechta, Ella of Amy, Mimi, Amy, Medina Sayam, and Molik. A fourth opinion in the, in the, in the mission. The Chamo say, you don't have to say only if you come bring from Dinas Hayam to Eretz Yisrael. Molich technically means that you take the get, the person wrote the get in Eretz Yisrael, and he's taking the get to give it outside of Eretz Yisrael. Michlal, right? This seems the Chum is a fourth opinion. The Tanakama, the original Tanakama, Savar Molich Lo He didn't mention anything about someone taking it from Eretz Yisrael to Dinas Hayam. My love, Hakam So what are they arguing about Tanakama and the Chumim? Let's say it's a Machlokas Rabba and Rava. Right. And the Hani, the top of Dalam and Beis, the Hani Gmiri. Um, the reason that you don't have to say when you're molded, when you take from Eretz Israel and you bring to outside of Eretz Israel, is because of outside of Israel, they don't know the halachas in America. They don't know the halachas so well. Eretz Israel, you have all the time to come in. And therefore, when you take from Eretz Yisrael outside, you don't need to do that because it was written in Eretz Yisrael. So therefore, we're not worried about it not being done the Shema. Omar Savar, right? And the Chamim hold, the Hani Nami, Lo Shrichi. 
and Chamim say in the case where you take you are Molech, you take from Eretz Israel outside Eretz Israel, you would still need to do it because not the battle of Shema, they have to do it about in Edim between Lakaimo, and it's different places, right? Whether you go bringing the get from outside Eretz Israel to Eretz Israel or from Eretz Israel to, to outside Israel, not so many people travel between the two places. The other problem came with Charles. So the Gemara says, no, Rabba Matarit Latame, but Rabba Matarit Latame. Hold on a second. Trying to get a little better audio over here. No, close the door. One of the rooms someone's speaking in. So the Gemara says, Rabba and Taras Tadami, Rabba and Taras Tadami. No, we could, Rabba and Rabba want to say according to all of the Tanoim. Rabba and Taras Tadami, the Huli Amal of Yishein Bikin Lishma. Of course, the reason of finding nothing about Nechem is because of Lishma. The Haka big zeras molech atu may become epogi. And therefore, of course, there should be no problem with molech. So, why the Chum have a problem that you have to say, fine enough, fine enough, fine enough, if you're written in Eretz Israel, you bring it out to Eretz Israel. They're a bikin lishma in Eretz Israel. It's a zera because if we're makel when you're molech, so then you're going to be makel also when you may be. And maybe is actually a problem lishma. So, therefore, it's a zera one because of the other. <clears throat> Tana Kama Sav our Loga Zrina. Tana Kama holds, right? We're not Gozer. Molechatu maybe. Rabban and Basrai, Savi Gazrina, Molechatu maybe. The Chamin, but the last opinion in the Mishnah says we are Gozer and therefore Molech also needs them. Tana Kama wasn't worried about making the Gazero. The Rav Matar says, Rav says, you can say that both opinions are like me. The Chuli Amalafish and the Mitsu and the Chaim. The reason is because of Kim Shtarls to make sure that you can. Verify the signatures. Rabbana Basra, the Pushe Taima, the Tanakama Huda. So it's not two opinions, it's the same opinion. The 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 Chalim are explaining that they are the Tanakama, they're explaining the Tanakama's position. And that's why they say that Moli also needs it, because they're two different areas, whether you're taking it from outside of Israel to Eretz Israel or Eretz Israel to outside, the reason is maybe and Moli, because it's in Mizun Lakaima. They just argue, both Tanakama and Kamim, which is the same opinion, argue on <coughs> Rebbe Lazar and Rebbe Leo, like we said before, when it comes to places which are near Eretz Israel. It's <coughs> so not. The Mishnah continues. You bring a get in different countries, let's say you're in America, and you, you, know, you bring it from New York to New Jersey or something like that, right? Different states. Medina is a state. Different states, from Albany, New York, to Trenton, New Jersey, because you got to bring to the capital. Um, how many New Jersey people know that the capital is Trenton? <laughs> how many Americans know New Yorkers know the capital is Albany? Good question. Um, so the Gemara says, "Sarich uh, lomar finding that, finding that. Have a osa Medina of Medina's hayam lo sarich." Right. However, if you're traveling to two cities in New York, right, you go from New York City to Albany, right, you wouldn't need that. That's the implication of the Mishnah. The Rav Nicha, according to Rav, uh, who says because of Kiem Staros, right, one state, people travel. They travel upstate. They go from New York City to Albany. It's only a four hour drive. <laughs> um, uh, um, the Rava Nicha, the Rava Kasha, according to Rava, who says Bikin and Lishma, outside of Israel, no one's no one's learned it. So whether it's from New York to Albany or whatever, people you should see, you should need to say find that the find that them to assure that it was done Lishma. So the Mordechai says, Lo Tema Hab Osa Medina Medina Zayam Lo Sarich Alei Ma Medina Lo Medina Me'arit Yisrael Lo Sarich. When the Mishnah says that when you travel from Medina to Medina in Chutz La'aret and Medina Zayam, you have to you need it. To imply somewhere else you don't need it, that's talking about not to imply that in one in the same state in Medina Hayam you don't need it. No, it's to imply that from Medina to Medina Eretz Israel, one one district in Israel is six districts. If you didn't know that, people in Israel most people don't know this. There's a Jerusalem district, the Haifa district, Tel Aviv district, North, Central, and South district. So 
you have six districts, one district to another district, that you don't have, that's the implication. And Eretz you don't have to worry about it. So the Lord says, uh, yeah, that you don't need to teach me. How maybe it says in the Mishnah, how maybe get Eretz Yisrael, you know, presumably includes, even if you're bringing him to Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, you wouldn't have to say it. Why do you have to, why would that be the implication from the first part of the Mishnah? So the Gemara says, he have I mean, I the If it was just from that line that you bring, it says you bring an Eretz Israel, I would think that really lechachila you should say we find enough, we find enough. If I bring to Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, but if you didn't do it, it's okay. You can say but it's okay. Lechachila love, lechachila you should need to. Kamashma. That's why we have two times to say that even lechachila you don't have to worry in Eretz Israel, even if you go from one district to another district. Vika the most lahachi. Some ask. From our Mishnah, the following way: Ham Medina, Medina of Eretz Yisrael, Lot Sarich. Right, the implication from the Mishnah: Medina, do Medina, and in Medina Sayam, you need to. So the implication what is in Eretz Yisrael, Medina, Medina, you don't need to. The Rabba Nicha, according to Rabba, which is the reason is Gilas Shema. Eretz Yisrael, everyone's everyone, even in Tel Aviv, they have rabbis who know the Rabb Shema. The Rava Kasha, according to Rava. It's a problem because different districts, not there's not such a great travel between the, the, the two districts. And there's a problem with Sun Lakaima. Lo Tam Medina Ladina Marriage Israel, Lo Sarah Ala Mahab Osa Medina Medina Zayam Lo Sarah. Like we said originally, really the implication doesn't do with Eric Israel. It's talking about in the same in the same state in Medina Sayam, then you don't need to. Because there's travel, there's nice abundant ways to get from one city to another city. <clears throat> so the Gemara says, "Aleima, how also Medina, Medina Sayam lo tzara." Aval Medina, the Gemara says, "Al Medina, Medina the Eretz Yisrael ma'it tzara." According to this, you'd say what that from Medina to Medina Eretz Yisrael you would need it. Listen, I may be in Medina, Medina stop. Why does the Mishnah say you bring from Medina to Medina, right in Medina Sayam? According to Rava, the whole it's the whole problem, Eidim Mitzuri and Lakaimo. So it should apply whether it's New York to New Jersey or from Tel Aviv, from Tel Aviv district to Jerusalem district. Why didn't it say, why did it say Medina, Medina, Medina Sayyam? It should be everywhere. So the Mordechai says, the whole of Medina, Medina of Eretz Israel, Namilo Tsar. So the Mordechai can see you're right. It's true. If you go from Tel Aviv district, Jerusalem district, you wouldn't need it. Came and all the regalim. Eretzel is different than traveling from from Albany to Trenton, from New York to New Jersey, because since you have people who go to the regal, travel from all parts of Eretzel to go to, to go to the Yisraelim, Mishka Shlichi, you have people to always make the star. When the tenah was manch based on the shkayim, that's when the base was around. They went to Aliyas Aregel. Was manch any based on the shkayim? My What are you going to say? Came and Dika Bate Dinim the Kfi Mishka Shlichi in Eretzel. All the cities, it's it's a Jewish country. They have a lot of courts. Rabbinical courts all over the place. So therefore, there's always people going back and forth between the different courts. So therefore, you never have a problem with Kim Charles. <clears throat> Snan, it says in the Mishnah, the end of the Mishnah, Even if you go from Hagmonia to Hagmonia, which is basically two different city councils, right? It's basically the same, the same place. It's two different jurisdictions. Think about if you go from East Jerusalem to West Jerusalem. <laughs> two different uh, districts, not districts, two different jurisdictions. I'm a Rabbi Yitzchak, and you have to say, according to Rabbi Yitzchak, I'm a Rabbi Yitzchak, I'm a Rabbi Yitzchak, I'm a Rabbi Yitzchak, here, Achas Ha'is of Eretz there was even a city in Eretz Yisrael, Asasio, Shema, I think with Asasio, you have Bezak Moni, two jurisdictions, Shema Kpid and Zel, they didn't get along with each other. Lefichah, Chutzchak, Lomar, Megboni, Alagmonia. That's why the Mishnah had to say, even from one jurisdiction to another jurisdiction, the Rava Nicha, the Rava Kasha. Now this is even in Eretz Israel. According to Rava, it makes sense because they didn't get along. So there wasn't a lot of travel between the two. So it was hard to make the star. According to Rava, who says it was Eretz Israel, people are bucky lishma. So why should you need to say b'fani netta b'fani netta? The Gemara says, Rava. The Gemara says, my daughter is crying. Rava Isle the Rava. When the Rabba, so the Gemara can see, the Rabba actually agrees with Rabba. He holds, when you have to say, there's two reasons behind it. 
not just because he the Shema, but also because now the Mitsuim the Kaimo. The only Rava, Rava says the only reason in the Mishnah is because of Kim Sharos. He doesn't agree with the reason of the Shema. He would never worry about the Shema. Rava worries about both things. So the Gemara says, El Maibinayu. So now that we see that Rava agrees with the Rava, what's the practical difference in the two opinions? Tika Binayu, the Asua Betray. Instead of one person bringing the get, two people brought the get. Right? So if two people bring the get, there's no problem with Kim Sharos. Kim Sharos is only a problem. When you have one person, right? But you have two people, not a problem. Inami, the Osa Medina, Medina Sayam. Or you're bought in one state in Medina Sayam. You go from New York City to Albany or something like that. So, according to Rava, who says we're worried about both things, right? So, you, you're worried about Lashma, New York. They don't, the rabbis don't know it as well here in Israel. So, we're worried about that. According to Rava, there's no problem because according to Rava, only a problem of shchichi, of people traveling back and forth. People travel back and forth to different cities in one state. And the first case, when two people bring it, right? So according to according to, to Rava, in Medina Sayyam, we're, we're, we're worried about Lishma. So therefore, even if you have two people, it's not going to help. But according to Rava, if you have two people, then there's no problem of Kiyom Shara. Kiyom Shara is really done with two Adem. So therefore, even if there's, since even if there technically potentially a problem of Bikin Lishma, he doesn't hold the Bikin Lishma. He doesn't, he doesn't worry about Lishma. We discussed in Eon you know, Ben-Sion on the first stuff why Rava is not worried about Lishma. Let's stop over here. We're going to stop this year over here. I was going to stop anyway, not just because my daughter's crying. Stay tuned for Ian of Ben Siel when I talk about um, this concept, which is mentioned in the Mishnah. It's subject to the Machlokas. There's cities which are outside of Eretz Israel, which are Smuchos Eretz Israel, not inside Eretz Israel. And then there's Muvlos. Now, Muvlos, according to the Art Scroll, means it's also outside of Eretz Israel. However, if you look at the boundaries of Eretz Israel, it's sort of <clears throat> absorbed from the outside. The boundaries, it's like a semicircle. It would be like. Um, a gulf or something like that, you know, the gul all the gulfs, right? You were certain bodies of water are called gulfs when they, even though they project into oceans, because they're absorbed on basically three sides by the, the mainland. So that's absorbed. That's why it's called a gulf, the Gulf of Mexico, the Gulf of Aden, if you know where those are. So it's the same idea of remove lows means like a gulf over here. It's outside of Israel, but it's you know sort of within three boundaries of Israel. As opposed to Smuchos, which is basically is not bordering, is not absorbed at all in the land of Eretz Israel. I have a different explanation in Muflos. Stay tuned. Eoth Ben Sion coming up next.